Hey guys and gals, this is Bloggy of the Broken Legion of Gamers, and in this edition of Bloggy's Chop Shop, I've got an order that was just delivered from Amazon of something, I th a product that I think would be really helpful for Gaslands. Unfortunately, the company that put this product out has discontinued this product, but there's a few sellers on few sellers on Amazon that are that still have some of this product left and here it is I picked up three of them wow yeah these are some big big tires now there's three of them the reason why I picked up three was because I want to keep two one of them is going to go on the 100 subscriber giveaway so there's no point in opening up all three we're just going to open up the one, and this is a Greenlight Collectibles Kings of Crunch exclusive wheel and tire multi-pack. These are basically, um, like, these are basically, like, monster truck tires or just really big mutter tires if you're throwing it on a Jeep or a pickup truck. And maybe I should only order one for myself and one for you guys, but... Because I truly did not expect these tires to be all that big. Ugh, let's see if we can get... I hate clamshells. Now, this, this product is perfect if you don't feel like buying 3D printed or resin tires. Or you don't have access to a 3D printer where you could buy or download the STLs for for printing 3D tires and tires and rims and stuff. Sorry to all the headphone wearers out there. Okay, I got it open. And in the clamshell, they have it nicely organized. So what you're getting is four sets of rims and four sets of axles. I'm assuming these long the long axles right here are for these big tires right here. And the short ones are for these tires. We're gonna get all these we'll get all of these out and just we'll assemble them on camera. Now it's as simple as here's pushing this axle into the tire. And this is for people that also don't want to mess with paper clips or paper clips that are, or uh, or pinning rods or whatnot. So here is a fully complete front or rear axle with the black you can't really see they're they're hub, nicely hubbed they're the black versions of these rims maybe with the yeah so you just they're really easy to use you push push the matching tires into the matching into the proper size axle and this one's a little bit hard let's get Let's get in this one first. Oh. Yeah, these still aren't the easiest to mess with, but the worst case scenario, you can always take a drill and a pin vise. And these tires are rubber. Oh. Okay, this it looks like right here this one wasn't wasn't um casted properly. Let's see if we have problems with any of the others. Okay, here's Okay, this now I can see why this was discontinued. This is not the best of product. Probably all sorts of missed cast casting issues and 
whatnot. But yeah, let's hold on. Where's where's my pin vise with the drill bit in it? Uh, no, that drill bit's a little too big. I've lost freaking everything this week. Uh, well, let's see how well the big ones do. Because these are... Yeah, you're, if you buy these, you're definitely going to have to take a drill and drill drill these out because this freaking... Especially the big, big hubs... <clears throat> Doesn't even, and these are just white tires, white rims. I don't get why they up oh, this. Yeah, you're gonna have to play with these a little bit to get them to fit. It looks like they casted the holes in a lot of these properly, but when they freaking went and put the went and put either the black paint on it or the chrome finish, it. They didn't do a good job of covering up the hole and keeping the the paint or chrome from getting into the hole. So you're going to have a ton of problems with those rims because it looks like they've been looks like the hole's been filled up by the paint or the chrome product. Or the and also some of the holes weren't drilled deep enough so you're gonna have to take a drill vise and a pin and a you're gonna have to take a pin vise and a drill bit and you're gonna have to drill these holes to either get the wheels and tires to go all the way in or you're gonna have to figure something out but the quality of these are good you're just gonna have to do some work to make them work like here's the punisher van that's if i wanted to make that a mo a huge monster truck these these um <clears throat> these wheels and tires are perfect for that you'll probably have to mount the everything over here over in this section like grind this down a little bit and Mount it here and then maybe take some green stuff and do some over fenders. But it's doable. So I give this product a 6.5 out of 10 for Gaslands. It would have gotten higher if you didn't have to take a drill bit and mess with the rims and tires just to get them to fit on the drill, to fit on the axles. But other than that, they're freaking great products. As you can tell, this is, well, it's really hard to tell because it's, this is a rubber tire. So they definitely put some time into designing this and definitely use some quality products. But that's it for this video, guys. Just figure I'd give you guys a heads up on a product that's out there that you can use in your, use for your gas lines vehicles that you'll definitely be able to customize them really well if you don't want to either 3d print the stuff or buy resin stuff these are like eight bucks for a set of four tires so two two bucks a set of tires that's not bad considering what others are charging so go and check these out you can just search for green light collectibles kings of crunch on on um what the hell is it called on Amazon and you'll find it. You could probably find these on eBay too, but since they're discontinued, I've noticed eBay isn't giving anybody any breaks these days. Everything's overpriced on there, but go and check these out. And thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more Gaslands content or content for any of the other three or four games I follow, I, I play uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can be notified anytime I put up a video in the future. 
And as always, whenever possible, support local wargaming. Here at the channel, we support Toy Wiz in Nanuet, New York on Route 59, right across the street from the Dunkin' Donuts. Have a nice day, guys.